is. This is like the coolest it's been, I feel like, for the past like couple of weeks, for sure. So, go ahead and come onto your mats. You can start off however you choose, just coming into your breath. Um, always starting off my classes from the same way. So a space of gratitude. And always coming into our practice through our breath first to start. So just allowing yourself to feel the ground rising up to meet you as you allow your seat to soften. The crown of your head lifts. And close your eyes. Just allowing yourself to come into your own breath. So breathing in through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. Let's go for three more big rounds of breath. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Two more. Just allowing yourself to come into your normal breath. So always starting off our practice from a space of gratitude. We give gratitude to the universe, to this earth as she reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. We give gratitude to the indigenous peoples of these lands, the Salish, the Kootenai, the Kalispell, the Blackfeet, and the Ponderay tribes. Always reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first baby step into us doing the right thing. And to come into right relationship. We give gratitude for this practice of yoga as it reminds us that as human beings we are innately good. Ahimsa, which is nonviolence or loving action at the top of the pinnacle in terms of how we choose to love. And we give gratitude to black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice. gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, our own ancestors and our own lineage. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to, We've had three big losses in our community over the past month, Nelson Stevens, Michael Harris, And the third, I haven't necessarily had like the liberty to release to say to public, so I'm gonna wait. And if folks wanna talk with me about it afterwards, um, we can. Nice deep inhale. Slowly blink open your eyes. 
just come back into the space, maybe just slowly kind of glancing around you to notice any detailing of the landscape that maybe you haven't noticed before. Checking in with how maybe your clothes feel on your body. And then slowly we're gonna turn and look out past our left shoulder. You can roll back and down through your right shoulder blade, relaxing and releasing through your jawline. And then go ahead and take your right hand to your left knee and turn yourself to look back behind you. You can tense your fingers at the base of the spine or you can take them around to grab on to the inside of your hip. Sitting up nice and tall. And then slowly release, bring yourself back through your center line. Same thing on that opposite side, turn and look out past opposite shoulder, relaxing and releasing, roll back and down through your left shoulder blade, and then take your left hand to the outside of your right knee, turn and look back behind you, sit up nice and tall, and then slowly bring yourself back to your center. Let's go ahead and pop up through our knees, grab onto the front actually. Go ahead and take your feet out in front of you. Soles of the feet can ground down to the mat and then hands are gonna come back behind you. Fingers are gonna point towards your glutes. You're gonna press into your palms and lift high through your chest. Nice deep inhale here. And then you're just gonna slowly let your knees rock over to the right hand side as you press through your palms and lift through your chest. Teacher David Vendetti used to call this one the mermaid. Uh, so nice deep inhale. And then exhale slowly, ground down through the feet, let the knees rock over to that opposite side. Press into your palms, breathe into your heart space. Big inhale here. Exhale slowly, bring yourself back. You can put a bend in the knees and, or a bend in the elbows and kind of just cross your ankles and your shins and then roll yourself over coming into a tabletop go ahead and flip your palms or flip your hands so your fingertips press back towards you your wrists are away from you and you can kind of just shift back and forth a little bit here making sure that your thumb is still active in the posture and maybe do some small circles so just opening up through your wrists your hands are still involved. Okay, nice deep inhale. And then go ahead and take it back that opposite way. Just being mindful of your wrists as you move. And then slowly bring yourself back to a neutral position. You can flip the palms so you're on the tops of the hands, fingers towards your center line. So small stretch to your wrists here. Nice deep inhale. Right. Yeah. Shifting back and forth side to side. So it's a big stretch to the wrist. You don't have to apply a whole lot of pressure here. And then slowly, you can just take your sit bones down to your heels as you release your hands and crawl your fingertips out in front of you. Bringing yourself into a child's pose. Shift back and forth side to side through the hips. Is there anyone that does not want to be touched in class? If so, go ahead and just take a hand up right now and I will pass you by. Okay. So on every inhale, you can think about extending through your spine a little bit more. And then every exhale, you think about relaxing and releasing through the tops of the thighs and the creases of your hips. So up and in on your low belly head down to the mat. So inhale, lengthen through the spine, crawl your fingertips out a little bit further, and exhale, relaxing and releasing. On the next inhale, crawl your hands off to the right hand side of your mat. Your left hand can come on top of your right hand. 
out through your spine one more time. Big inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands back towards you. Bring yourself up onto your hands and your knees, your shins, your toes can be, or your feet can be flat to the mat. Or if you have a tendency of always putting them flat to the mat, you can always tuck your toes here too. It depends on what feels best for you. And then just do a couple of small circles here. So barrel rolls, thinking about still kind of moving in your wrists. Your low belly's engaged, you're checking in with the stack of your femur bone into that hip joint. We'll go for three, for two, and for one, and then opposite direction. Swing it that opposite way for three, for two, and for one. Bring yourself back to your center line. Tuck your toes and then turn the eyes of the elbows so they look out and away from you. Points of the elbows look back at you. And then pop your hips high, coming into your first down dog of the evening. Pedal out through the heels. You can shift back and forth side to side here. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. So on every inhale, press into your palms a little bit more. On every exhale, drive your hips back a little bit further. Nice deep inhale. Hips move high. Exhale, release through the heels and sit down. Two more big breaths here. Inhale, find some length through the arms and the elbows. Exhale, pull down through the heels. Take your hands and walk them back towards your feet at the back of the mat. You're gonna hang here at the back of the mat. In a standing forward fold, your low belly pulls up and in. Your head hangs super heavy and you swift shift back and forth side to side here a little bit. You can always shake your head yes. You can shake your head no. You can take your hands down to the back of your skull kind of create a little bit of extra just weight to lengthen through your spine and your neck and then go ahead and take your palms and you're gonna flip your palms so you're gonna stand on your hands your toes are gonna come onto the meaty part of your hands and then you can kind of wiggle your toes here a little bit massaging through your palms and just stretching through the wrists Staying with your breath, finding that extension in the back part of your calf, your knee, and your hamstring, the lower part of your glute. Pull up and in on the low belly to provide your sacrum some extra support. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale. Maybe you wiggle your toes a little bit more again. And then exhale. Go ahead and slowly come off of the hands. Go ahead and take your two peace fingers and you're going to bind your big toes. So two peace fingers in between your big toe and your second toe and then pull the crown of the head forward extending through the back part of the legs and then put a bend in your elbows and pull them down to either side of your calf and you let your head hang slow here or hang low. Maybe shifting back and forth side to side. And then go ahead and release the bind on the big toe. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, bring yourself down and over the tops of the thighs. Stay with big breath here. Big inhale, hands up the front part of the shins. Exhale. And then on the next inhale, slowly we sweep ourselves all the way back up to stand. Arms come high to the sky. Exhale, moon salute. Hands come down to your third eye. So coming into this intention, what are you letting go of? 
in this next moon phase. Hands move down to your heart line. Right? So we spent this whole first part from new moon until full moon, right? In the space of what is it that we're calling into ourselves, right? Last part, what is it that we're letting go of? Inhale, arms sweep back. Reach up and out of the waistline and then exhale, dive down and over the tops of the thighs. Pull in on the low belly, protect the low back and sacrum. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, come down to the mat. Walk yourself out and into your plank pose. You can always come into a modified plank and drop to the knees. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, you're gonna drop down to your right knee and kickstand your right foot out. Your left foot is gonna swing towards the back of the mat and you're gonna come into a modified gate. Nice deep inhale. Left hand reaches high to the sky. Exhale, hold. So grounding down through that right palm, left hand high. Finding that extension, big inhale. And then maybe pull your fingertips toward the river. So lengthening through your rib cage and your side body. And then exhale slowly. Turn yourself back down to the mat. Knee comes back underneath your hip. Same thing on that opposite side. You can kickstand to your left foot out, right foot comes back to the back of the mat. Edge of the foot hits the mat, and then that palm is right underneath that shoulder. Right hand high to the sky. Nice deep in, count. You're good. Yes. Bring yourself back down. Let's do a couple of cat cows. So inhale, hand comes down to the mat, chest pulls forward, inhaling into your cow. And this is when this just goes down to the ground. <laughs> and then exhale into cat. Press yourself down and round through your spine. It's okay. Inhale, chest pulls forward. And then exhale, press. Let's do four rounds of that. Just trying to match your own breath to movement here, everyone. So inhaling. There we go. And exhaling. Let's go for two more rounds. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. Like you're really pressing the earth and the ground away from you. And then inhale again. Chest moves forward, crown of the head lifts, and then exhale, press. <sighs> Inhale, bring yourself back to your center line. Left hand comes underneath the face, we'll thread the needle. Right hand comes high to the sky. Big inhale here. Check in with your toes to see if you can get your feet right behind your ankles. Sometimes we have the tendency to swing our toes in on this one. Yeah, and then exhale, flip the palm and slowly come down onto that right shoulder. Left hand can serve as a pillow underneath the head or it can come off side on the mat. It also can extend towards the top of the mat or towards the river and you look underneath your armpit. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. If you want a little bit more in this one, you can always extend through that left leg or you can swing it towards that right hand finding that extension in the back side of your thigh. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale here. And then exhale. Slowly come out of the posture the same way that you went in. Release that left hand and place it right down to that right cheek. And then press into your palm. Hand comes back underneath your shoulder. Inhale into your cow to balance out your spine. Exhale to your cat. Let's go one more round. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale back into table. Same thing on that opposite side. You're going to go ahead and take that right hand underneath the face. Left hand comes high to the sky this time. Big inhale. 
exhale hold one more time reach high and then exhale flip the palm and come down and on to that shoulder so opposite hand this time that right hand serves as a pillow underneath the header it comes offside on the mat you can extend through that right leg if you choose to you don't have to the knee can stay down nice deep inhale here remember that right hand can come towards the top of the mat if you choose to you can also take it around the low back to grab onto the inner part of the thigh two more big breaths here big inhale Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. And then exhale, hand comes right down next to the face. Swing that foot back if it's there and knee can come underneath that hip if it's not there already. Release as you press into that right hand. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Two more rounds. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into cat. One more time. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale back into table. Take your hands out in front of you a little bit to this front of the mat. And you're going to drop down to your chest as you keep your hips lifted coming into your puppy pose. Forehead can come all the way down to the earth. And again, maybe come back into that space where you feel like the earth is rising up to meet you as you're pressing down through the tops of your feet and your shins, your palms, and your forearms. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. And then exhale slowly. Walk your hands, you can press into your palms. You're gonna put a bend in your elbows and drop down to your chest as you kind of extend through your knees and your belly comes down to the earth, coming into your baby cobra. Elbows are close into the side body. Nice soft gaze out in front of you. Roll back and down through your shoulders. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Breathe into the compression in the spine in the low part of the back. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale. Breathe here. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes. Press to the knees, coming into your modified plank. And then drive your hips back and high, coming back into your down dog. Hands are wide. Hips are high. Pedal out through the feet. Nice deep inhale here. Find that extension. We'll be here for two more breaths. Big inhale. Hips move high as hands grip, and then exhale, you pull down through your heels. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale. Slowly walk your hands back to meet your feet, back of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, bring yourself down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, sweep yourself all the way back up to stand. Arms come high to the sky. Breathe into the belly and find the extension and then hands move down towards your third eye. And they come all the way down to your heart line. And there comes the wind. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> We'll see. Of course, it's like when the eagle's flying high, <laughs> which is awesome. Okay. Inhale, arms sweep high. As the wind, or if the wind picks up, as you move, especially if you're stepping, just be mindful of your mat. It's easy to trip. That's not the goal, okay? So inhale, arms high, exhale, dive down and over the tops of the thighs. <sighs> inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Walk yourself out into your plank. Nice deep inhale, press into your palms. Again, the earth's rising up to meet you and you're pressing down into her. Press back through your heels and then shift yourself forward as you lower and hover and lift. Big inhale. 
Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale here. Exhale. Roll over the toes and take the hips back and high, down dog. Hips high, heels pull low. <laughs> Two more big breaths. <laughs> On the next inhale, let's go left leg high to the sky. Three legged dog. Spot your left thumb and step your left foot up to meet your left hand as you hop your right toes out and over. Let's inhale, high crescent lunge today. Arms come high. You check in with your hips to make sure your hips are in a nice straight line. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, drop your back heel as you press down into the soles of the feet and bring yourself into your warrior two. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Exhale, straighten through your front leg. Hinge at your hips, so pull your fingertips towards your toes. Hand comes down to shin, opposite hand comes to the sky. Triangle pose. Nice deep inhale. Okay, set right. Exhale, hold. Big inhale. And then exhale, put a bend in your knee and bring yourself down into your side angle. Hand can come down to the inside of the foot or you can always casually rest on top of your thigh. Hand to the sky and then pull your fingertips towards the river. So finding that length from the hip and then rolling open through the chest. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself all the way back up. And then reach for the river as you flip the palm and take it back. Reverse your warrior. Big inhale. Ground down through the back edge of your back foot and try not to grip with your toes. Breathe into your extension here. Big inhale. And then exhale. Bring yourself all the way back down to the earth. Hands are going to plant. That left foot steps back to meet your right. You lower down and then inhale, forward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes and press yourself back into your down dog. Nice deep inhale. Same thing on that opposite side. Right leg high to the sky, big inhale. Spot your right thumb. Step your right foot up to meet your right hand and hop your left toes out and over. Find your footing first before you lift yourself high into your high crescent lunge. Check in with your hips. Big inhale. You can fire up through your back glute. Yeah, big inhale. And then exhale, drop your back heel as you open up through your hips. Coming into your warrior two. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Reach through the fingertips, open up through the chest. Big inhale. And then go ahead and straighten through that front leg. Think about wrapping your muscles around your bones rather than hyperextending through the knee and then reach with the fingertips. And hand comes down to shin. That left hand comes high to the sky. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale. Put a bend in your knee and you can casually hang out for your side angle or you can take that hand down to the inside of the foot. Fingertips reach towards the river. Big inhale. Try not to grip with your toes. Exhale, hold. Think about distributing your weight equally across both of your feet. And then on the next inhale, pull yourself back up into your warrior two. Go ahead and flip the front palm, reach towards the river again, and then take yourself back, reversing your warrior. Nice deep inhale. Really nice job, everyone.
exhale one more time big inhale exhale wheel yourself all the way back down pivot on the ball of the back foot plant the palms step that right foot back to meet the left and press back through the heels as you shift forward lowering and lifting big inhale exhale roll over the big toes and send your hips back and high down dog nice deep inhale here big breaths big inhale and exhale last one big inhale and then exhale let's tiptoe our feet up to meet our hands at the top of the mat inhale hands to shins flat back exhale down and over the tops of the thighs and then inhale sweep yourself all the way back up to stand arms come high Exhale, hands move down to heart line. All right, everyone. We'll flow through one sun sea, and we'll take it back to some like longer holes as, as the wind continues to pick up. Okay. <laughs> All right, inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step your left foot back behind you first and drop down to that back left knee. Toes can flip flat and then inhale. Arms can come high. We'll do low crescent lunge. And then tense your arms. Open up. Knee stacked over ankle. And then exhale. Hands can move together. And then you're going to take that right elbow. It comes to the outside of your knee. Press into your palms and look out and over. So opposite elbow, opposite knee. Yeah. Big inhale. Towards the knee. Towards the bent leg. Yeah. I'm not marrying y'all. Big inhale. And then exhale. Go ahead and slowly release. Hands are going to come down to the earth. And you're going to tuck your toes and send yourself back into a half split here. Big inhale. Toes flipped up. And then you shift your sit bones back towards your heel. Front foot flips forward. Yes. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Slowly shift yourself forward. Hands plant. Back toes tuck. Back knee lifts. And then you're going to step right foot back to meet your left you can drop down to the knees or just lower and lift forward facing dog breathe into the base of the belly and then exhale roll over your toes simultaneously and take your sit bones high to the sky left leg high to the sky this time big inhale spot your left thumb and step your left foot up to meet your left hand right toes hop out and over back knee drops Toes can flip flat. Inhale. Low crescent lunge. Check in with your hips here. All right, so pulling back through that left hip, pulling forward with your right. Big inhale. And then exhale. Hands are going to move down to your heart line, and then that right elbow is going to catch the outside of your left knee. So you guys are turning towards the big rock. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. Last one. Big inhale. Exhale, release. You're going to tempt the hands right in between the heel and the quad, and then send your hips back into that half split again. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. Pull forward with the crown of the head. And then slowly shift yourself forward. Hands are going to plant. Your back toes are tucked. Your back knee lifts. 
and then you're gonna pop your right leg high to the sky, standing split, big inhale. And slowly step that right foot down to meet your left. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, let yourself fall down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, pull yourself all the way back up to stand. Exhale, hands move down to the third eye. And then they come all the way down to your heart line. Okay, last round, we're gonna lead with our right foot this time. So inhale, arm sweep high. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands move down to the mat and right foot steps back first behind you this time as you drop down to that right knee, toes can flip flat, inhale. Arms high to the sky. If you wanna tent the arms and open through the chest, checking in with your hips again. Big inhale. Exhale, hands move down to your heart line and then that right elbow catches outside of left knee again as you press into your palms. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, release. Hands tent, back toes tuck. You send your sit bones back to your heel again. Nice deep inhale. I like to think so, yeah. Like I pull forward with my heart in this one, like pull in on the low belly and sending the hips like back. Your toes can be flat or tucked. And then slowly bring yourself back, hands plant, back toes tuck. Pick up that back knee and step that left foot back to meet the right. Big inhale. Exhale, shift forward as we lower and lift. Forward facing dog. And then slowly roll over the big toes simultaneously. Hips move high to the sky, down dog. Right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Spot your right thumb and step your right foot up to meet your right hand. Left toes hop out and over and you drop down to your back left knee and then inhale. Arms come high to the sky. Exhale, maybe you tent the arms. Check in with your hips again. And then slowly, hands move down to your heart line. Left elbow catches outside of right knee. Press into your palms and then turn and look up past that shoulder. Nice deep inhale, breathe here. Releasing through that hip. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Hands come down to tent, your back toes can tuck, and then sail your sit bones back towards that heel again. Coming into that half split. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. So in this one, I tend to find that I like clench in my knee for some reason so just allowing your leg to be soft big inhale and then exhale bring yourself forward your hands are gonna tent your back toes are gonna tuck and then you're gonna pop that left leg high to the sky again coming into that standing split thinking about dropping down equally through your hips and not collapsing to the outside of your hip. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. And then exhale, step that left foot down to meet your right. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, bring yourself down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, sweep yourself all the way back up to stand. Exhale, hands move down to heart line. We'll do one little standing balancing and then we'll bring ourselves down to the mat, okay? How's everyone doing? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and kickstand that left or that right heel. 
up against your foot. So you can stay here first to start. So finding maybe a blade of gra grass in front of you that isn't moving, right, as you're drizzy. And then maybe you pull the foot up to the outside of your calf. Pulling open through the knee, rounding down through the foot and not tr trying not to collapse into the outside of the hip. And then see if without the use of the hand, if you could pull the foot up and over the knee. Remember the foot needs to be above or below the knee without the use of the hand first. And then you can use the hand as the assist to bring it to the inside of the thigh as the knee swings open to the side. Nice deep inhale. Yeah, that works too, half lotus this. Big inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. And then exhale, release the foot from the inside of the thigh. Knee comes to hip height, big inhale. Hold here. Hands can rest on hips, they can also come high to the sky and see if you can kick that leg out in front of you. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. So fire up through the, not the calf, your quad on that extended leg. And then go ahead and exhale and shoot that leg back behind you, coming into your warrior three. Nice deep inhale. Hands out to the side can help a lot with balance here. Hands out in front of you will raise your heart rate. Big inhale. And then ground down through your foot and bring yourself all the way back up to stand. That foot can place down. Give that standing foot a shake. And then same thing on that opposite side. So kickstand that heel up against your ankle. Nice deep inhale here. And then slowly pull the sole of the foot up so it rests right underneath the knee. It can go above or below the knee, but not on the knee. The knee can move a lot of ways, but it cannot go lateral. So we don't try to put any pressure there. And then maybe you can take the foot up and over the top of the knee without the use of the hands first. And then use your foot. Press. And then Take a look at something in front of you that's not moving. So don't ever look at the instructor. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> right? Big inhale. Everything's moving. <laughs> it's the wind. And then go ahead and release the foot and bring the knee to hip height. Big inhale. Flex through the foot. You can stay here or you can kick the leg out in front of you, firing up through the top of your quad. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale. Lift and then exhale. Shoot your foot back as you drop down through your chest. Nice deep inhale. Try not to collapse into the outside of that right hip. While still keeping your hips in a nice straight line. And then inhale. Pull yourself back up to stand. Foot steps down, kick it out. All right, everyone. Inhale, arms sweep high to the sky. Exhale, bring yourself down and over the tops of the thighs. Engage your low belly to protect your low back. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step, step back into your plank. And then just drop down to your knees. Take your sit bones down to your heels. And go ahead and just swing your legs out to the side and come into a seat. We'll do a wide-legged forward fold and then a couple of Janus. And then I'll have you guys be in Shavasana. Okay. Yeah, we could have done a whole little half circle this whole time. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is not working for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take your legs nice and wide. I like to do a little lift and shift, right? You can always pull your glutes and your flesh back behind you. We have a tendency in a lot of these to sit on our sacrum, right? So pull yourself forward. You wanna be in the front part of your sit bones. It'll change the way that you feel in the posture a thousand percent, right? 
then engage your low belly so you're protecting your low back and sacrum and then you use engage how far you come forward with the strength of your hands so you slowly crawl your fingertips out as your low belly stays engaged and you can use the mat or the grass okay to help pull you into the posture a little bit more and when you get to a point where you're like i'm good here right allow the back side of your body to soften nice deep inhale and exhale so two more big breaths here big inhale exhale low belly stays pulled in one more time big inhale exhale slowly walk your hands back towards you take your right foot and swing it to the inside of that thigh it's essentially this is just a seated tree so you practice tree by squeezing sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh thigh receives it and squeezes back flex your toes back towards your face and then inhale arms come high to the sky and then exhale bring yourself down and over the top of the thigh toes can flex back towards the face you can always play around with a point on the toe to stretch through the front part of the foot as well whatever you need think about dropping your elbows to either side of the calf and then if you want to create more of a compression tuck your chin in towards your chest pull in on the low belly and maybe try to aim your forehead down to meet your knee a nice deep inhale exhale hold two more big breaths here big inhale and exhale last one big inhale and then exhale slowly walk your hands back up the front part of your shins rock back on your seat change up your feet sole of that foot inside of your thigh flex the toes back towards the face and then inhale arms come high exhale let yourself fall down and over Give your body permission to release and let go. I just recently went through some big losses that we talked about in life, right? And it's interesting. Some not by choice. Um, and then some by choice. And there's an interesting opening up that happens within our bodies, right? when we lose relationships or lose connections, right? And it allows our bodies to settle into a more peaceful space. Right? It creates space within kind of this energetic realm, right? And the mirror to that is that it creates space within our bodies and ourselves, right? And vice versa, right? The more we open up our bodies, the more we open up things for us in our lives too. Slowly walk yourself back up. Go ahead and pull the soles of the feet together to touch. Sit up nice and tall. Again here, tendency to sit back on our sacrum. So move yourself so you're on the front part of your sit bone. Sit up nice and tall. Butterfly, you can always just hang out here. You can also, with your low belly engaged, pull yourself down and over the diamond on the inside of your thighs. I like to use my elbows on the inside of my knees to press down a little bit, right? But you just want to be mindful of that as you do it. One of the things that I like that they say in the hot yoga practice, um, or the Bikram practice, is you can mess with the gods, but you can't mess with your knees. I don't think that you can mess with either of them, so we just avoid it. <laughs> right? Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold one more time. Big inhale here. And then exhale slowly, pull yourself back up. Your knees come together to touch. Go ahead and take your feet out in front of you. 
One more time, move and shift your seat back behind you. Make sure you're not sitting back on your sacrum. Inhale, arms high to the sky. And then exhale, just let yourself fold forward over the tops of the thighs. Crown of the head pulls towards the tops of your feet. You can point the toes if you want to, to kind of stretch out through the front part of your feet and your shins. If you always have the tendency to flex in this posture, maybe point your toes. And if you want to come into more of compression, you can also pull your chin in towards your chest, drop your forehead down towards your knees. Nice deep inhale. And exhale one more time big inhale and then exhale slowly walk your hands back towards your knees and shins go ahead and scoot your seat forward and then slowly bring yourself all the way down and onto your back pull your knees into your chest and give yourself a nice big hug here tuck your chin in towards your chest to keep your spine nice and long and then arms can come out to your sides like airplane wings. Palms face up to the sky. Pull your knees into your chest and then let your knees drop over to the left hand side. Turn and look out past your right fingertips. Finding your twist here. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. And then slowly squeeze your knees and pull your knees through your center line. Lift your hips and let them drop over to that opposite side as you turn and look out past your fingertips. Big inhale. Let your spine soften. Two more big breaths here, big inhale. And one more time, big inhale. Let your knees drift back to your center and then give yourself a nice big hug one more time. Chin can come down towards your chest. Your forehead can come down to meet your knees if you want to. And then soles of the feet come high to the sky. Find some extension. Hands come down to the side. And then slowly let the heels drift down to the end of the mat. Release through your glutes. Let your toes flop out to the side. Coming into a space of Shavasana. And just letting yourself breathe here. So I'm going to tell you all a story. So it was my mentor, who's Nelson Stevens, that passed away recently. And um, I loved him very much. He was 84. He was a really prolific, wonderful artist. Um, and he was an incredible teacher. So I found out on July 22nd and I got home from my family's cabin um, about a week, a week later, a little over a week later. And my mom came out of her bedroom and she said, hey, uh, you forgot your book in my bedroom. And I said, that's not my book. And she said, well, it's not mine either. And it was Bell Hooks' book, um, All About Love. If you have not read it, I would recommend picking up a copy of it.
So she talks about love from a space of real love and true love and all of these different processes of love and the space of clarity around it. And she talks about right, this space of true love being souls coming together in a space of teaching each other and growing with each other spiritually kind of always gets taken out of context in a different Western world. And she really puts it out into, through the book that, you know, we should normalize this space of loving. People get weird about it in business, right? Weird about it outside of relationships. It's really what yoga and ahimsa is all about. She also talks about, you know, a lot of people say, you know, love is a feeling and she speaks about it from a space of love is a choice. You know, you have to choose to act lovingly. So in the moments when it's hard to love ourselves, like we have to choose to give ourselves more love. When people disappoint us, we have to choose how we respond to them with love. I left a copy of my book with um, Nelson's daughter, who's my age. Um, also, I would read from it, um, but you all should definitely, it will change your view and your perspective. Um, but a little oracle card for you all to take with you today. So vibing on the number five and coming back to this space of clarity, planning and releasing illusion. I love how the universe puts things into perspective. So the eagle heralds a time of productivity and clarity for you. It's time to sharpen your focus on your own goals right now. You have the vision, now make your plans and set them in motion. Think of how the eagle's lofty perspectives allows it to see far off prey and adjust its actions anticipating changes before they arise. Real plans, not just fantasies are called for. So get very clear about your goals and what would, will it take to achieve them? This newfound clarity requires you to release any present or past illusions you've been holding on to. They may be false assumptions about situations or people in your environment. So be honest with yourself about others' intentions and about your own plans and their potential outcomes. Illusions also sometimes encompass deeper aspects of yourself. Even if you think you no longer carry old hurts or misinformation, you may be subtly influenced by fears and limitations you've unwittingly accepted as truth. The ego calls you to look deep within and reclaim your inner strength. As you do so, your true power becomes more clearly directed and your creativity starts to take shape. The vibrant golden color surrounding the eagle is gold in this signifies greater mental clarity and brightness of mind great value is coming to your life and don't be surprised to find the time before you 
opening up with new ideas, accuracy, inspiration, and even prosperity. It's time to get clear about who you are and what you want and how you're going to get there. This card is telling you to plan, prepare, and prosper. Affirmation. I release illusion and confusion. I think clearly, focus on my plans, and let my light shine. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Again, big inhale. And exhale. And two more on your own. When you're ready, you can slowly roll yourself to your right or left hand side, coming into a quick fetal position. And then you can slowly press yourself up and into a simple seat. Hands can come to your heart. They can also rest down on your knees. You can always do one hand to heart, one hand to belly, whichever feels best for you. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in each of you, the collective we and all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me this evening and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls, and for braving the weather. I was like, I'll leave it to Mother Nature to be like, as soon as I say, and let your light shine, it's like, la da! -da. <laughs> it was. Can't plan for things like that. So, um, and like I always say, go in peace um, and remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, y'all. Yeah, so nice to have everybody. So nice to see everybody. Yeah. Thank you for choosing this theme and walking through. What's that? Walking outside. Yeah, no, it was good. It ended up being all right. <laughs> <laughs>